Hi all, welcome to the e-learning module of German language training program. And today we will learn about Germany and some interesting facts about it. The basic etiquette that to be followed there and you, after the end of session, you will be able to introduce yourself in German. So let's begin. So Germany and some facts, there are over 1500 different kinds of beer in Germany and over the 300 different kinds of bread in Germany. The biggest beer festival in the world, of course, is the Oktoberfest. University is free for everybody and we all like Paris and Venice. Berlin is nine times bigger than Paris and has more bridges than Venice. Hi all, welcome to the e-learning module of German language training program. And today in this lesson plan, we will do a quick recap of self-introduction done in lesson plan one. Alphabets in German, weekdays in German, as well as I'll cover a few of months for you. So let's begin. We have done this already. Self-introduction is called as Vorstellung. It is not Vorstellung. It will be Vorstellung. It is the noun. In German, question is called as Frage. Answer is called as Antwort. To ask somebody's name on a formal note, we have to say V heißen Z. That means, what is your name? Ich heiße Maria. My name is Maria or I am called as Maria. Another question, woher kommen Sie? That means where do you come from? I come from India. To say it in German, ich komme aus Indien. Indien. So India is called as Indian. Male Indian is called as Inder. Female Indian is called as Inderin. To say, I am an Indian, it will be Ishwin Inder for male, Ishwin Inderin for female. Another very common question that can be asked is, where do you live? Wo wohnen Sie? Wo wohnen Sie? The possible answer to it can be, I live or stay in Delhi, Mumbai, Pune or any of the location. In Germany, you have to tell the street number as well. So it will be Ish Vohuna in Delhi. I repeat Ish Vohuna in Delhi. Moving further. What do you learn is called as was lernen Sie. I repeat, was lernen Sie. Was, W-A-S. This is not was, but was in German, which means what. Ich lerne Deutsch. I learn German. German is called as Deutsch. And Germany is called as Deutschland. Deutschland. Another common question. What do you play? Was spielen Sie? Ich spiele Fußball. Fußball, football. So this is not football. It is Fußball. Anyways, today we'll learn the alphabet also. So this point will be very much clear to you. Last question. Welche Sprache sprechen Sie? So this Sprache is the noun and expression is the verb here. And Welche is the W question, W word. So 
Welche Sprache sprechen Sie? Ich spreche Englisch, Hindi und ein wenig Deutsch. I repeat. Ich spreche Englisch, Hindi und ein wenig Deutsch. Which means I speak Hindi, English and a little bit of German. With this, the recap of self-introduction is finished and we are moving further now. Today, we will do alphabet in German. The spelling is same. The script also is same, similar to English. So, it will be easier for you to learn. Just pay attention to the pronunciation part. So, alphabet spelling is same, but how do we pronounce it in German? It's das Alphabet. Das Alphabet. I repeat, das Alphabet. So, A is pronounced as A in German. A sound will come. You can write the pronunciation as per your convenience in any of your regional languages. Hindi, English, Malayalam, Punjabi. But the sound should be correct. Okay. So, it is not mandatory that you write these pronunciation as shown on the screen. You can write as per the sound your understanding what and in your regional language also. But make sure you do write the pronunciation because after the session, you might get confused with the sound. So it's always better to note down initially everything. So I will say it in German only. A is A, A, B, B, C, C, A, B, C. I repeat. A, please repeat after me. You have to follow after me. Each and every alphabet. A, B, C. B, A, S. J, A, S. The sound of A is A and E is A. So, A, A. A, A. A, A. A, B. C, J, A, F, J, H, E, J sound in a word it will be the year sound but as in the alphabet you have to pronounce it as yot. Yacht. Yacht. However, in any of the word, it will be called as, it will be sound, the sound will be ear sound. Yacht ka l. Yacht ka l. Let's do a quick recap of A to L. You have to repeat after me. A. De. Say, day, a, f, g, ha, e, ya, ka, l. I hope a to l is clear to everyone. Let's move forward. Now the pronunciation is same for M N O, M N O, M N O. P e is pronounced as P, P. The sound P. Q. It is not Q. 
It's poo. Poo sound. Poo. Air. 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 L N O. L M N O. P Q R. P Q R. S. S will be S. The sounds will be same like English S. Now, likewise, P T will be pronounced as T. So, P T P T. T U U. So let's do a quick recap. A to U. A B C J A F J H E Y K L M N O P O R S T O Now this letter V we have also done it in fourth column so this alphabet is called as V in German V V The sound is F sound. Please make a note. F sound. However, the like your it is your sound, but it, in letter we say it as your. Similar way, this is the F sound, but in letters we say it as F sound. F. W is pronounced as W, and X is pronounced as E. E. The letter E. Y, Ypsilon, 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 and Z is called as set, set, set. Please repeat after me each letter. A, B, C, J. A F G H E Y K L M N O P Q R S T U P V X Y Z. Apart from A to Z, these twenty-six letters we do have four special characters in German, like A we have done, which is called as A in German. But we put these two dots on top of it. These two dots are called as umlaut. A U M L A U T. Umlaut in German. So if on A on top of A, if we put these two dots, it becomes A sound. So without umlaut, it's A. With umlaut, A. Similar way, without umlaut, it's O. With umlaut, O. O. Without umlaut, it's O sound. With umlaut, U. U sound. And this is not B. This is we say it in German as set, which means double S. Either you write this character, this special character, or you write double S. It means the same. The sound will be S sound. So these are the four special characters in German. So now we'll do A to C, including all these. 
26 plus these four special characters. A, B. You have to repeat after me. A, B, C, D. A, F, G, H, E, Y, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, Z, Y, Z, Z, A, A, O, O, U, U, Z sound, which is a S sound in German. I hope alphabets are clear to you. Let's move forward. Now we learn these 30 new words today. You have to learn that these words as homework along with spelling. Let's do this in detail. So, as done, the A sound is the A sound. Apple. Apple means apple. Apple. Please repeat after me. Apple. Although A with umlaut will become Ehre. 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 Baal. Baal. Sevi clown, clown, clown. J delphin, delphin, delphin. A. This is not E. It's A sound. Engel, engel, engel. F. Frosh, frosh. Frosh. Gay. This is not G. It is gay sound. Please keep in mind. Please make a note. Gay. Gay sound. So if this is not garden. This is garden. Garden. G sound. Garden. Ha. House. Ha. House. E. This is not idol. This is eagle, eagle, to be precise, eagle. As I told you in the last slide, J sound in letters, we call it as yacht. But if we say it in word, the sound will be year. So this is not jaka, this is yaka. Yaka, yaka means jacket, yaka. Ka, kam. Ka, kam. Ka, kam. L, land. This is not Deutschland. Deutschland because A pronunciation is A in German. So it will be land. Deutschland. M, mouse. M, mouse. And nus. Nus is nut. Singular we are talking about. Nut. Nus. O. Or. That means one ear. Or. On the other hand, O with umlaut is ol. 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 Pe. Parle. 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 Q. This is not Q. This is Q sound. So, koala. Koala is a jellyfish. Koala. 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 This is not R. It is R. So, Rosa. 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 The sound will be the R, but as a letter, you will always say it as R. S. Zona, that means sun. S. Zona. S. Zona. 
Now this again, set sound, which is a beta sign. First, either you write F U double S or F U this special character. Both means the same, which will be post. Post is speech. Tiger is called as tiger in German. Tiger. U over. U over. We call over as in the wristwatch, wall clock. So all uh, or um, yeah, wristwatch, wall clock. We both call it as over only. Now, this is you because. You with a umlaut, so it's you boom. You boom can be anything exercise that you do in your book or a exercise in a fitness center. So we call it as you boom. Please repeat after me. You boom. Pow. Fulkan. Fulkan. Volcano. Fulkan. Fulkan. Pow. Fulkan. Pow. Fulkan. Way wine. Wine is wine. The spelling is different than English, but yes, wine is wine in German. Eat, it's binar. It's binar. Binar need. Why called as Ypsilon? Yak is called as Yak in German also. So Ypsilon, Ya, and Set with Sebra. Sebra. Sabra. Now I'll do a quick recap repeating all these words. Please repeat after me one by one. Apple. Error. Ball. Clown. Delphin. Angle. Frosh. Garden. House, eagle, yak, thumb, land, mouse, nurse, oar, oil, perla, koala, rosa, zona, host, tiger, oar. Yubung, Fulkan, Vine, Exbina, Yak, Sabra. I hope alphabets are clear to you. As a homework, you have to learn all these new words that you have learned today in this session. That is 30 words you know now in German. So that it will be helpful for you in future to make sentences by your own. Let's move forward now. Okay, a quick worksheet for you. You have to spell the name in German. One, two, three, and four. I'm giving you two minutes. Please do that. You can even pause the video and once prepared, you can tell the pronunciation. Okay. So I'm spelling the names in German. Please tell me if your answer also matches with mine. First, Martin Hoffmann. It is a German name. M A R T E N. Hoffmann. H O F. F M A N N Hoffman Gudrun Schmidt Second point G U D L U N Gudrun Schmidt S C H M E J K Gudrun Schmidt Third point Vijaya Lakshmi 
fall e j a y a l a i k m e four points vijay sharma fall e j a y Sharma S H A R M A Sharma. Remember the first name we always call it as four nama. Please repeat after me. Four nama. And the last name will be called as Nak Nama. Her sounds will come. Nak Nama. Martin is the four nama. Hoffman is the Naknama. Gujrun is the four nama. Naknama Schmidt. Vijay four nama. Sharma Naknama. So if you want to say what is your first name, how will you say it? V is your four nama. Answer mine four nama is Martin. If you want to say, let's say, what is your last name? V is here. What do you say? Nak nama. Then the possible reply can be mine. Nak nama is Hoffman. Yeah. Okay, moving further, we'll also do weekdays. It's very easy. Weekdays is called as Wokhan Tager in German. Wokhan Tager. So, tag, T-A-G, this tag word is called as J in German, tag. So, to say Monday, it will be mon tag. I'm repeating, please repeat after me, I'm repeating three times each day, mon tag. Mon tag. Mon tag. Dean star. So this is not dying star. I.E. combination. So E sounds will come. So Dean star. Dean star. Mitch walk. Mitch walk. Donner star. Donner star. Donner star. Thursday. Donner star. Friday is called as Fry Tag. It is not free tag. E I combination will always be the I sound. So it will be Fry Tag. Fry Tag. Saturday will be called as Zamsta. Zamsta. And Sunday will be called as Zon Tag. Zon Tag. Zon Tag. So I repeat. Weekdays, Wokhan Saga, Mon Saga, repeat after me, Dean Saga, Mitch Walk, Donner Saga, Fry Saga, Zam Saga, Zon Saga. You have to learn these spellings also as homework. Moving further. We'll do a one quick topic also. Let's say month. What do we say month? I'll cover some of them. Month is called as Monata in German. So as I explained to you earlier, the IE sound will be the E sound and E I sound will be the I sound in German. So uh, let's say what do we say June in German? June is called as J U N I. But how do we pronounce it? It's uni because J sound will be the Y sound. O M and then I is called as E. So uni. This is not uni or juni. This is uni. 
Juni. Juni. Juni means June. Now July. What do we say July in German, guys? July is called as this word. Can you try pronouncing this yourself? It is Juli. Juni, Juli. Juni, Juli. Okay, we have done A also, right? So, April is called as the same spelling, but pronunciation is different. Can anybody try pronouncing April in German? What it will be? So, a slight change in the pronunciation as A, sound, A is pronounced as A in German. We are just done today. So, it, it is not April. It is April. April. Spelling is same. Pronunciation is again different. So, you have to follow the alphabets that we have done today. April. April. Right? September, another example. September is called as September. The sound will come. Like we always say, V hyphen Z. Right? So, it is not September. It is September. September. The V sound will be the first sound. I will cover these months in detail in the coming slide. This Today, I wanted to explain you the sounds with the help of months so that you can at least learn a few more words today. So, five more words we have learned under months also. Months is called as Monata, Juni, Juli, April, September. Yeah. Although months will, I will cover in detail in the coming lesson plan. Moving back to the slide. So, what is your homework from lesson plan two? Write, learn, and practice alphabets along with words related to them in German, as well as learn the weekdays and four or five new months that we have done today. In the following lesson plan, Three, we are going to cover the greetings, personal pronouns, and asking somebody how are you on a formal and informal note. Possible answers to it in lesson plan three. So make sure you learn and practice lesson two content well. And looking forward for your presence in lesson plan three. I would like to thank you all for attending the e-learning module of German language training program. I wish you a nice day ahead. Thank you. Hi all. Welcome to the e-learning module of German language training program. And today in this lesson plan, we will learn about greetings, how to greet someone in German, asking how are you on a formal and informal note in German and possible replies to it. We'll also cover the personal pronouns in German. Apart from this, we'll quickly do a recap of lesson two wherein we learn the alphabets, the weekdays and few of the months as well. So let's begin. So, alphabet in German is called as Das Alphabet. Alphabet. A is called as A in German. The letter A. So, A, B. You have to repeat after me, okay? Make sure you speak each and every letter along with me. A. B, C, D, 
A, F, K, H, E, J, K, L, M, N, O, A, O, R, S, C, U, P, O, V, X, Y, Z. A, A, O, U, 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 Z. The sound will be the sir sound. Point to remember, A is A and E is A, I is E, J is Y, P, V is P. Let's move forward. We also did weekdays. Weekdays in German is called as Wochentage. Wochentage. Montag. Dienstag. Dienstag is Tuesday. Monday is called as Montag. Please repeat after me. Montag. Tuesday, Dean Star. Dean Star. Wednesday is called as Mittwoch. 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 Friday is called as Friday. Sorry, Thursday. Thursday is called as Donner Star. Donner Star. Donner Star. Friday, Friday. 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 Saturday is called as Zamstar. Zamstar. Sunday, Zontag. Zontag. Point to remember, IE sound is E sound and EI sound is I sound. Hence, this is Dienstag and this is Freitag. Weekdays are called the Zwochentage. Apart from this, we also did months. July is called as Juli. June is called as Juni. The month September is called as September. And April is called as April. April. We'll do months in detail also in the coming lesson plans. Moving on to the today's topic, which is greetings. How to greet somebody in German. In German, greeting is called as Begrüßung. It is called as Begrüßung. This is not B. Begrüßung is a wrong pronunciation. As I said, this is a special character. The set sign, which is equivalent to double S. The sound will be the sir sound. So, begrüßung means greetings. Please make a note of it. It is a noun. Good day is called as guten tag. Guten tag. You have to repeat after me. Guten tag. 
good morning is called as guten morgen guten morgen guten morgen good evening good evening is called as guten abend guten it is not abend it is abend make sure you are pronouncing it correctly guten abend Good night is called as Guter Nacht. Guter Nacht. Guter Nacht. See you again is called as you have to break it in three parts. Aus, Wieder, Zen. Aus, wieder, sehen. I repeat. Aus, wieder, sehen. Which makes it as auf wieder sehen. You need to speak it fast or if you are not comfortable, you can speak slow as well. Make sure you are pronouncing it correctly. Auf wieder sehen. Auf wieder sehen. Why is called as choose. Choose, choose, and thank you is called as danke, danke, danke. I repeat these again. Good day, guten Tag. Good morning, guten Morgen. Good evening, guten Abend. Good night, guten Nacht. See you again. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Tschüss. Thank you. Danke. It is not Danke. It is Danke. Because E is at the end and E sound is the O sound. Moving further to greetings. Continuing with greetings. Till later is called as Bis bald. It is not bald. Bis bald. Hello is called as Hallo. Although if you will travel to Germany, then you will find different dialects in different cities. Let's say if we talk about Hamburg, you will find a lot of seven years saying Moin Moin, which is another way of saying hello. So they don't say generally hello, they say Moin Moin. Or if you'll go to the Austria, then they'll say Bruce Gott a lot to greet somebody. So these are small, small things that you will find in different cities. The way they greet or the speciality or some uh, major events depending on the city. To say please or welcome, it's one word which is bitter. 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 Let's say if somebody says thank you to you. Then in return, you can always say bitter. It shows the politeness, being polite to somebody. Yes is called as ya. Yeah. No is called as nein. So I'll quickly repeat. Till later, bis bald. Hello, hallo. Please or welcome is bitter. Ja. Nein. So this is not ja. This is ya nine. Please make a note of all these greetings that you see on the screen. Moving further, we'll do personal pronouns today. So what I'll do, I'll quickly copy it on the paint so that I can do highlights also. Please allow me a moment. I hope the screen is visible.
So what is a personal pronoun? When you are referring to someone or somebody, it is called as personal pronoun. Let's say, so, if we are saying I, I is called as Ish in German. Ish, that means you are referring to yourself, that is one person. Okay? If you are referring to one person, which is yourself, then it will be first person and singular. So, it is ish. However, if you are referring to talking to other person, on a formal note, it will be capital Z, which means S will be capital. It means you are referring to somebody on a formal note. In English, there is no segregation. We refer everybody as you. Either you are talking to parents or to friends. But in German, we do have this segregation. So if you are talking to your boss, relatives, parents, teachers, you have to use the Z wherein S is capital. This capital S can come even in middle of the sentence. So in German, you will find a lot of uh, capital letters even in the middle of the sentence. However, if you're referring to somebody on an informal note, let's say your friends, your sibling, your younger brother, sister, then you can refer the person as do also, which is you informal. It is not do, it is do, the, the, do sound. Since we are one person is talking to the other person, so this is second person singular. Since you are talking only to the one person. Now, if two people are talking about a third person who is a male, in English we refer it as he, and in German we call it as er. Er. That means two people are talking about a male person. So, we are referring to the third person here. And he is a male and singular in nature. If we are, if two people are talking about a lady, then it will be again Z but with a small s. Which means she in English. It's referring to the third person again and singular in nature. On the other hand, if we'll say S, which means it, it is again third person singular. In this picture, you can see there is a girl. So in German, every noun has a gender. Let me make it clear to you. So in German, every noun has a gender. And that you need to learn. There is no set criteria that these will be females, these will be males. So, it's masculine, then it's feminine, neutral, and plural. These are the four genders. So, in German, girl is called as Mädchen. And it, the article for it is neutral. Hence, we are using S to refer to the girl. It will be more clear to you in the coming slides when I'll explain you. But right now, just keep in mind that S is being referred to the girl, which is Mädchen in German. So, any noun which carries a neutral article will be referred as S. Again, third person, we are talking only about one person and singular in nature. I hope until first person, second person and third person, it's clear to everyone. Now, if we talk about plurals, that means it is not first person, second person. We are referring to a group of people. 
So it will be wear. Wear is V. That means we are referring to a group of people. So, but if we are referring to a group of people, which is more than one, but on informal note, then it will be called as ear. I capital H R ear. This ear is the plural form of do. You informal, you all informal. This wear is the plural form of ish, I and we. And this small c refers to they all or you all, which is a plural form of this formal c or rzs. So they all also being referred as z. But again, a small s. Now, you must be thinking there are a lot of Z's, how to differentiate between them. So, it's very easy to differentiate between them. In the coming slide, it will be made clear to you. Right now, just keep this table in mind. And always remember that for you, formal, you have to write the capital S. Else, your sentence will go wrong. Coming back to the slides, I repeat again, ish is I, do is you, informal, z is again you, you are talking to one person on a formal note, er is he, z is she, s is v or v, Ear you all and Z they all. You have to learn this table, all four columns, and then you need to take a new paper or turn the page of your German notebook. And then you have to make it yourself. That means you have to Write all columns yourself and cross-check. These needs to be learned thoroughly. This will be the base of your German grammar. So make a, take a new, first learn it, take a new page, write it, cross-check it, and learn from your mistakes. In German, personal pronouns are called as personal pronomen. I repeat. Personal pronomen. Moving further. The last topic that we have to cover is asking somebody, how are you in German? How are you? So question is called as Frage. Frage. Please repeat after me. Praga. If you want to ask somebody, how are you on an informal, on a formal note to start with, let's say you're talking to your boss, your parent, your relative, your teacher, or even colleague on a formal note, you and your colleague are not so friendly with each other or you just got to know each other. So, in that, in those scenarios also, we do refer our colleagues also on a formal note. So, how to ask somebody, how were you? It will be, we gate as Enan. It is clearly mentioned on the screen. We gate as Enan. I repeat, we gate as Enan. However, if you are talking to your friends, colleague on an informal note, younger brother, sister, then you have two options to ask name on an informal note or on a friendly note. We get as dear. It is not dear. 
many people do pronounce it as dir many people do pronounce it as dir it is dear dear we get as dear okay or is called as odor odor v gates v gates don't forget to write the apostrophe s okay always make sure you are writing the apostrophe s so this is v gate s t r or v gates v gate s t r v gates please make a note of these moving further now how to reply somebody to these questions right we gates or somebody ask you we get as dear or we get as enen formal and formal the answer would always remain same as gate mere then your answer and then danke answer can change like in this with a red mark it's mentioned boot boot means good so as gate mere boot danke you have to take a pause of 2 seconds and then say danke i'll repeat as gate mere boot danke that means i'm fine thanks if you are doing very well then you can even replace it as as gate mere sehr gut danke as gate mere sehr gut danke if you are doing so so in english the way you say i'm i'm okay i'm just fine not too bad not too good then you just need to say this phrase as as gate as gate danke if you are not doing so well then you have to say nicht so gut as gate mere nicht so gut as gate mere nicht so gut and if you're doing very bad you had a fight with somebody and you're you you had a very bad mood and you are angry on somebody or let's say then you can say as gate mere sehr schlecht as gate mere sehr schlecht okay so you have to learn these common replies that somebody can give it to you or you can even give those as answer if somebody asks you how were you in german please remember germans are very straightforward by nature so if they are actually not doing well they will be upfront and straightforward to say that please make a note of these moving further this is the worksheet for everyone please match it i am giving you 2 minutes of time okay done please match it now i'm sharing you the answers i is ish do is you good is good where is we 
Guten Tag, good day. Bitter is please and danke is thank you. Now let me share the homework from lesson three to everybody. First is greetings. Foremost, when you meet somebody, greetings is the basic. You should know how to greet somebody. So write and learn these basic greetings that are being shared on the slide today. Learn and write the personal pronoun table. That means you have to learn the personal pronoun table also thoroughly. And how are you formal, informal, along with possible replies. In the upcoming lesson plan, we will cover the regular verbs and their conjugations. That means we are starting with German grammar. So make sure you are learning this personal pronoun table thoroughly because we will be needing it as a base to cover the regular verbs and their conjugations in the coming lesson plan. I would like to thank you all for attending the e-learning module of German language training program. And I wish you a good day ahead. Thank you. Hi all. Welcome to the e-learning module of German language training program. And today we will learn the verbs, regular verbs and their conjugations in German. Apart from this, we'll also cover some W words. That means how to say what, where, how, when, what in German. But before we move forward, we'll do a quick recap of lesson three, wherein we learn the personal pronouns, greetings and asking how were you to someone in German on an formal and informal note along with the possible answers. So let's move forward. Greetings. Greetings are called as begrüßung. Begrüßung. Good day. It's called as guten tag. Guten Tag. You have to repeat after me. Make sure you're repeating after me, else you may have problem in pronunciation of the words in the later stage. Good day is called as Guten Tag. Good morning is called as Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Good evening is called as Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Good night. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. See you again. Auf Wiedersehen. I repeat. Auf Wiedersehen. You have to break this word in three sections for better pronunciation. Although it's one word, so final pronunciation will be Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Choose. Choose. Thank you. Danke. Thank you is called as Danke. Continuing with greetings, till later is called as bis bald. Bis bald. Hello is called as hallo. Hallo. Please or welcome is called as bitter. Yes, yeah, no, nine. I hope greetings are clear. Moving on to the next topic of personal pronouns. In German, we call it as personal pronomen. So, I is called as ich in German. We are referring to one person, singular in nature. 
do is when you're talking to your friends, your siblings on an informal note, but yes, you're talking only to one person referring to the second person, right? You're talking to a single person, which is singular in nature. And since you are referring to the second person, so this becomes second person, okay? However, if the case is same, you are referring to a single person, singular in nature, you are referring to the second person, but on a formal note, then it will be capital Z. That means S will be capital. On the other hand, if we are saying he, she, it, S, E, S, in all these three cases, we are referring to the third person, but yes, again, on the singular note. So, in German, we call it as R, Z, S. In this Z, S will be small. Talking about now plurals. So, V is called as Beer in German, wherein you are referring a group of people including yourself. Although on the other hand, if you are referring to other people excluding yourself and it's more than one, it will be ear, which means you, for, you all on an informal note. Please note this ear is the plural form of do. And wear is the plural form of ish. And if you're referring to a group of people saying they all, you're talking to one person and talking and referring to more than one person, then we call it as they all in English, which is again a small z. And it's again plural in nature. Okay. So, make sure you learn this table because today we are starting with verb conjugation topic wherein we would require these personal pronouns as a base. Please make a note of this table if you didn't note in the last class. Moving further, we also learned how are you in German, how to ask how are you in German to be precise. Fraga is called as question, formal note, we get as Enen, I will be capital, friendly or informal note, we get or we get as dear, apostrophe as yes, should always be there, make sure you don't forget this. Order is called as or. So, or in English is order in German. Moving further, possible replies to it. Es geht mir gut, danke. Which means I am doing good, thank you. If you are doing very good, es geht mir sehr gut, danke. If you are doing okay, not too good, not too bad, just okay. In English we say I am fine, thanks. So, then you have to say just as as gate danke as your reply. If you are not doing well, you will say as gate mir is so good danke. And if you are doing very bad, you can even say as gate mir sehr schlecht. So this is not schlecht. Sure sound will be gone. Schlecht. Both S C H and C H. Sure sound. Schlecht. And the sound at the end. As gate mir sehr schlecht danke. Moving further for today's topic, its verbs are called as verben. Verben. So, to come. We have done these in the self-introduction part. To say, let's say, to come. Uh, woher kommen sie? I hope you remember we did this question. Woher kommen sie? Ich komme aus Indien. 
Where do you come from? I come from India. So the verb that we used in that question and answer was common. Common means to come. Another question that we learned in the self-introduction is Wo wo nan zi. Where do you stay? The answer was ish wo na in and then the location. So this vohunan is not a noun, no, not an adjective, not a subject. It is the verb. Vohunan means to stay or to live. Lernen. Lernen means to learn. Was lernen sie? Ich lernen Deutsch. What do you learn? I'm learning German. So in that question from introduction, lernen verb was used. So lernen means to learn. And to play is spielen. It is not spielen. Spielen. Was spielen sie? Ich spiele Fußball. I hope you remember. So spielen means to play. Please make a note of these verbs. And learn them also. Giving you a minute's time. Okay. Now, one example is done for you. Likewise, you also need to conjugate in your notebooks. Conjugation in German is called as conjugation. I am repeating, this is called as conjugation. So, ish, we have done this already in the last lesson plan. Ish is I, do is you, this capital Z is you, formal. As he is or man, man means one. The one who is standing there is my father, right? In English, we do refer that. So, one is being referred as man, which is again the third person. As he is, he, she, it. Weir is we, you, plural. Informal. It's ear with a capital I and they all is small z with a small s. Now the endings. What you need to do? Lernen is the verb. I'm opening the notepad and explaining you on the notepad. Let's say I'm writing all these on one side as the s then wear ear and z now ish the verb that we have to conjugate is lernen lernen means to learn So, how you conjugate? First, cut this E-N and only write this L-E-R-N everywhere. In front of each personal pronoun, we are going to write it. The way you see it on your screen, please write in your notebooks in the similar format. Now, in ish, we always add additional e. So, it will be learner. Final answer is learner. Similar way in do, we add st. So, it will be lensed. In capital Z, we add en. So, it will become Lernen. In the similar way, this en, 
is being added in the small z, which is they all plural, and we are also, which is we all plural. In the RZS, we just add one letter, which is T, and it will be land. Here also follows the same format. T addition and final answer is L-E-R-N-T, lamb. Please note this in your notebook as it is the way it is shown on the screen. Please note it. It is very important. Coming back to the slide. You have to conjugate now spielen, common and bonen in the similar format. You can use highlighters or sketch pens to highlight these endings. You have to learn these endings also, which is very important. So I'm giving you two minutes and please complete the learning as well as conjugate below three verbs. Now, if you are done learning, then you have to conjugate. You can pause the video. And once done, you can continue the video. Here is the answer key. Spielen, common, bonen. And with H, C, we have added E endings. In Du, it's ST. So, it will be I Spieler. Please repeat after me. Ich spiele. Du spielst. Sie spielen. Er sie spielt. Wir spielen. Ihr spielt. And sie sie spielen. Similar way, common is the verb, ish, comma. That means I come. Du kommst. Z common. Er sie es kommt. With a T ending. With er sie es, we always add a T ending. We are common. Ear comes. We see common. Bohnan means to live or to stay. So, ish wohna du wohnst er sie es wohnt this capital Z will be wohnen we are wohnt we are wohnen we are wohnt sie sie wohnen 
Please match the spellings and give yourself the marks. And you have to learn your mistakes. Whatever the takeaway is from your mistakes in the verb conjugation, please learn it properly. Moving further, another very important verb which is haban. What is haban? Haban means to have. Like in English, we use a lot. I have, you have, he has, she has, we have, they have, it has. Right? So, in the have verb, there is a slight, slight change happening at each personal pronoun. So, it's the same case in German also. So, haben is the verb. Please note in your notebooks. Haben means to have. I have. Ich habe. You have informal. Du hast capital Z is haben, which is you have formal note. R Z S. All three will come here, and the conjugation is not hat. It is not hat, please. It is heart. Heart is the verb hat. We are haben. That means we have. And here, half. That means you all have. I will be capital in this. Please note this. Write in your notebook. Moving further, we'll cover one more important word, which is sign to be. It is, it, in English, we do say I am, you are, he is, she is, they are, you are. So, in German also, we have this verb, sign verb, which means to be. The conjugation will be, ich bin, the what is the name of verb? I'm just typing for you, if you so that you don't get confused. It is. Zain. We say it as Zain, which means to be in English. So, it will be like Ish Bin. Do this. Capital Z, Zind. And this Zind will come also under Veer. And small z, which means they all form rest as he is will always be east east is is in english and ear also will always be zaid it is a new word don't get confused zaid you have to learn the spelling properly these are the exceptions we cannot follow any rule in these going back to the slides now English translation is also written for your reference. I request you to please refer it. I am giving you a minute for this. I hope it's clear. Please write it properly with no spelling mistakes.
Okay, moving on further. We'll also learn some new W words today. As mentioned in the objective also, I told you that we learn some new words. Like how to say how in German is called as V. It is not Y, please. This is V. How is called as V in German. What was? Please repeat after me. Was. Why warum? Warum? When one? Wann? Where wo? Wo? Where from? We have done this also in the introduction. Woher kommen sie? So woher? It is not woher. It is woher. Last but not the least, who is where? So, where is wo and who is where? Please note these also quickly in your notebook and learn properly with spellings. Done. So I hope you have learned the verb conjugations, the name of verbs with spellings, as well as these W words covered today, along with sein and haben form conjugation, which means to have and to be. Let's start with the worksheet. Worksheet number one, which is write the endings of each personal pronoun. That means you have to write the endings like ish is equal to I is equal to ending E because we are adding E always. This is how you need to attempt this question. And question number two is just to translate these verbs that we have done today in German with the correct spellings. Please attempt. Shall I show you the answers now? Please match them with your answers and give yourself the marks. One each. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 4. Out of 11, you have to give yourself the marks. And this is either yes or no. That means you get a 1 or 0. There is no 0. 0.5 option. So cross check it and give yourself the marks. Showing you the another worksheet. Please attempt this also. In question number one is written. You have to conjugate the below verbs in the given form. That means Vohanan verb in do and air form. Common verb in only ish. Capital Z and wear form. And spielen in s and ear form. And translate these W words. What, how, when and where from in German. Please attempt.
Okay, now showing you the answers to it. So in Vonan, it will be wonst and wound, common, com and comma and common, and spielen, spiel, spielt, both T endings in S and ear form. What is called as was? How is called as we? When is called as one? And where from is called as woher in German? In these, you have to give yourself the marks out of 6 plus 4, 10. Either you get a 1 or 0, no point fives. You have to learn from your mistakes. Now, the homework from lesson plan four will be, you have to learn the personal pronouns, the verbs that we have done today and their conjugations thoroughly, as well as we have covered the W words in German that you need to learn. This will be the base of your grammar. So no mistakes. In lesson plan 5, we are going to cover the vocabulary related to weather, food and drinks in detail. So today we have learned or covered a bit of grammar from German. Next class will be of vocabulary. Please make sure you complete the work and the learning part also up to lesson 4 before attending lesson 5. Okay. I would like to thank you all for attending the e-learning module of German Language Learning Program. I wish you a good day ahead. Thank you. Hi all, welcome to the e-learning module of German language training program and today we will do the recap of lesson 4 wherein we learned verb conjugations and W words. Along with this, we'll also do weather vocabulary, food and drinks vocabulary as well. Let's begin. So conjugation we did like for learning, we did the conjugation. I'll do a quick recap for this. Let's say with ish, which is equivalent to I, we always add a E ending, which is being highlighted with the orange color. Do means you informal when you are talking to one person, we add an ending as SP. SES or man, we'll do the ending T. And with V, which is called as we are in German, we add a ending as EN. Ear, which means you all plural informal. We add an ending T again, and V V, which means they all or you all formal. It will be E an ending. This is how we did the conjugation for lernen verb, which means to learn. Spielen means to play. Common means to come, and wohnen means to live or to stay. These are the four verb conjugation regular verb conjugations that we did in the last lesson plan. Moving further, here is the conjugation of spielen, common, and bonen verb. I'll again pronounce it for your ease. Please follow after me. Ich spiele. See, there is an E ending. Du spielst. Sie spielen. Er spielt. Wir spielen. 
ear feels zizi feelen feelen means to play so you cannot pronounce it as piles because then nobody would understand it is feelen i e combination the sound will be e coming for, forward to common common means to come so it will be is comma do com as e s com we are common e are com z common Similar way, wohnan. Wohnan means to live or to stay. Ish wohna. Do wohns. Zi wohnan. Ezi es wohns. We are wohnan. Ear wohns. Zi zi wohnan. So this. In these endings, you actually need to learn. The verbs can change. The irregular verbs we will keep on adding to the list. But you need to remember this format: what you add in which with which personal pronoun. It is important. Also, we did W words yesterday, wherein we learned some word meanings when we ask questions. Let's say how how is we in German. It is not why, it is we. If you will pronounce wrongly, then other person cannot understand what is what do you intend to say. So we is how. Was is what. So this is not was, although the spelling is same. So you might think it's was, but the pronunciation is what, and this means. The pronunciation is was, uh, was, and which means what, was. Was is the pronunciation. Warum means why. One means when. Where is wo and where from is wo her. It is not wo her. It is wo her. And who is where? Where it is not war. So we was warum. One wo wo hair and where I repeat you have to follow after me now. V was warum one. Wo wo her where moving further we also did the conjugation of a very important verb and commonly used which is haben it means to have haben is the verb So, ich habe du hast RDS hat wir haben Ear hopped and ZZ Haben. Moving further. Here is the conjugation of another important verb which means to have. I, I which means to be i we have we have done it like when you want to say 
I have, you will say ish habe, but when you want to say I am, you will say ish bin. So here you can see ish habe, I have, ish bin, I am. That is the difference between these two verbs. You are informal is do bist. Although when you want to say you have, what you will say? Do hast. As he has heart, which means he, she, it has. For this verb, it will be he, she, it is, which means as he as east. East you will use as a verb conjugation. When you want to say Z, capital Z, see it's written below Z haben. So for Zine verb, you will say Z zin. That means you are. It was you have. This is you are. So I am doing a quick comparison for you so that you can make out which verb to use when. So this verb is the Zine verb which you will use to say I am, you are, he is, she is, they are, we are, you all are. And this haven verb you will use when you want to say that you possess something, you have something. I have, he has, she has, he has, we have, they have, you all have. So, moving further, so it will be ish bin, which means I am, you are informal, do this. You are formal, reason, he, she, it is, as we, as, e. We are, we are, then. You all are, which is informal, ears, I. You are formal, reason, and they are also, reason. You are formal, again, as will be in capital, and this I will also be in capital of ear. And it was ish habe, do has, as we as has, we are haben, ear hab, zizi haben. So this we have already done, but these verbs you will require a lot when you are making sentences. So you have to learn sign and haben form thoroughly. Thoroughly means on tips it should be on your tips and also you need to take care of the pronunciation moving further to today's topic it is v is the sweater how is the weather yeah this is a very common small talk question that anybody can ask you how is the weather let's say when you want to say as is cold it is cold you can say as is cold or SHQ. Okay. SH warm. It is warm. SH high. It is hot. High. This is not high. High. So cold to hot. It's going from cold to hot. Cold, cool, warm, and hot. Now, when it's hailing, you will say as halit. Please pronounce after me. Halit. As halit. When it's raining, you can say as regnet. As regnet. When it Knowing, you can say as night. I pronounce it again. E I sound will be I sound. So as night. I'll repeat quickly again. You have to speak after me. Every phrase as if done. Very nice. S is cool. 
S is warm. S is high. S college. S regnet. S night. Now when it's thundering, what you can say? S blitzed. S blitzed. When it's sunny, you can always say S is zonish. It is not zonig, it is zonish. Zonish. When it's windy, like in Germany, there are many states wherein the weather is generally windy, like Hamburg. So when you will ask them how is the weather, the answer can also come as it is it is windy. So S is windish. I repeat, S is windish. When it's cloudy, you can say S is bewilt. Bewilt. When it's foggy, you can say S is neighborish. S is neighborish. S is neighborish. So I'll repeat quickly again and then we'll move to the next topic. V is the wetter. S is Carl. S is Cool. S is Warm. S is Tight. S Halit S Regnet S Night S Blitz S is Ganesh S is windish. S is bewolt. S is nebulish. Now, this is important. Noun is called as no man in German. No man. So there are four articles in German. Masculine, feminine, neutral and plural. So to denote masculine, we always say masculine. And it is being referred as there. We call it as article there. Feminine is feminine. And is being referred as the, as in the article. Neutral is called as noitrum. 
Neutrum. And is being referred as Das. And plural is plural. Spelling is same. Pronunciation is different. Plural. Rate is also being referred as B. So there, the, the, B. These all are called as articles which denotes the gender of the noun. Every noun has a gender. And these all would mean the in a sentence. If you see, these are written and after them any noun is written. Every noun will start with the first alphabet as capital. So these all would mean as the. Okay, going forward, S and own drink and food and drink. So, bread. What do we say bread in German? I quickly open the notepad. Yes. So, bread is called as das Brot. Brot. Article is das, which means it is neutral. Cheese is called as their case. A with umlaut. A with two dots, you will write. That means cheese. Apple is called as their apple. We have done this under alphabet. Das Obst. That means fruit. Obst. Obst. To say vegetable. The gemuse. Vegetable. Plural. Gemuse. You with the umlaut again. Put two dots on top of you. The gemuse. To say French fries, we all like French fries a lot. So it's pommes. The pommes. Potato is called as their carto. Fell. Their carto fell. The farmers, French fries, their cartofel, potatoes. Salad is called as their zalat. Zalat. Hamburger is called as their hamburger. Or if you want to say simple burger, it's called as their burger. Burger. Chicken is called as, or we can also say fleisch. Fleisch is means meat. Meat. Their fleisch. Fleisch. Sure sound at the end, it means meat. Cola is simple. Pronunciation is also same. The cola. It's feminine. Rice are called as their. That means these are masculine. Their rice. Milk is called as their milk. Coffee is called as their cafe.
juice is called as there's a and water is called as das wasser i repeat das brot das brot means bread so in germany you will find a lot of variety of different types of bread there is a which means cheese there are apple apple das obst that means fruit the gemuse vegetables the pomer that means the fries their cartofel please repeat after me their cartofel potatoes their salad salad their burger their hamburger their fries the cola their rice rice is rice their milk milk is milk their cafe their za das wasser uh another few words that we can do is pizza we all like pizza a lot so pizza is very simple pizza is pizza the pizza is feminine you say cookies we say cakes plural so it will be the the cakes cookies pudding is called as the the uh, the pudding no change the pudding moving further that restaurant what do we say restaurant it is not restaurant spelling is again same pronunciation you need to take care das restaurant the super which means soup das omelet that means omelet das omelet
der Hamburger. The portion price, that means we always take a portion of price. We cannot take one or two or one plate of price. We cannot order that. We, what do we always say? Give me a portion of price. So same way, the portion formal. The portion formal. Salad, we have already done. Salad is called as their salad. Their salad. Now, everybody likes pastries, right? So, it's very interesting. The torta is pastry. And if you want to say the fruit pastry, what do we say fruit? From top, we can take this O plus this torta word. Now, what it became? Obst torta. That means the fruit pastry. Hainshan. Hainshan, that Hainshan with pommel. Chicken with fries. Hainshan means? Uh, chicken and pommes means fries. Thus, ancient with pommes, chicken with fries. Pizza, we have already done it. Everybody likes that. The brat food smith sour kraut. This is one of the... These two are uh, two famous dishes that you can find in Germany. These both are non-vegetarian and these are so made up of sausages as you can see in the picture also. The Bratwurst mit Sauerkraut and the Bockwurst mit Zen. Okay. You have to make a note of all these words and learn before your next LP. Let's cover some more. These all are masculine. See in between their article is being written. So, their toast. Toast is toast. Spelling is same and pronunciation is also same. Their case, we have already done it. Their shinken. Again, meat. Hamburger. We have done it. Bacon is also called as bacon. So, their bacon. Rice, we have done it. Their rice. Kuchen. Kuchen is cake. Torta is pastry. Kuchen is cake. So, the torta, pastry. Their kuchen, cake. Thus, we have done it. Their cafe, we have done it. Their cacao. Cacao is coffee. Coffee beans, you can say. Their tea. Their fun kuchen. That means pancake. Their fun kuchen, pancake, and their hornish. Hornish is honey. So, what you need to do now, you have to learn the verbs conjugation that we practiced or we did a recap in lesson 5, which will be the base of your German grammar. Along with this, you have to learn all the words that we have covered under vocabulary with articles from the topic weather, food and drink. Make sure you learn all these words because then you have to make sentences in the coming lessons by your own. So do not forget to keep learning the vocabulary and revising them daily. Daily you have to give 10 minutes to the vocabulary revision. In coming lesson plan, in lesson plan 6, we are going to cover the counting and we will also cover some more worksheets on verb conjugation topic. So make sure you come prepared before your next lesson plan. And I would like to thank you for attending the German language e-learning program. And I wish you a good day ahead. Thank you.